How do these colliding universes coexist? Where's the rightful place of religion and the spiritual in psychoanalysis and psychotherapy? And is there justification for religious belief and science, at least our science, to conjoin? Analysts have too often played God. We've acted as if we were omnipotent and all-knowing, aloof and above it all. I hope that in some way I've indicated my belief that being deeply engaged with God, imitating God's ways, may paradoxically help keep us from playing God. To deepen our thought experiment and to help us reflect on the theme of this conference, psychoanalysis and spirituality, imagine another world, one in which psychoanalysis had never been invented. In such a world, no one would ever listen to the emotional pain of another person. And then people would have the horrific experience of undergoing psychological suffering in silence. He tells me that he was never religious, never had opened himself before his therapeutic journey to any of the religious dogmas of his family background. Only now, with mourning and the positive suffering of facing his soul in grief and regret, does he open at a powerfully deep heart center level to these spiritual beliefs that reflect a vision of God. And at some point, this patient might have a negative response to what I did. Does that mean I should have done it? No. Doesn't mean I should have done it. It just means I have to be aware and not think of my own uh, intervention as purely good because it, it has a multiplicity of meanings for me and for them. And th it may mean more than I think it means for them, and, it may, and they may understand unconsciously something of more it means to me. So there's a lot of analogies back and forth between psychoanalysis and Argentine tango, but particularly from an object relations view. So that's why um, we have found it very fitting to have Argentine tango as both entertainment and spiritual experience, especially at a conference on spirituality. <laughs> We don't, I think, we don't want to end up on the mountaintop waiting for the end of the world if we take Armageddon and Apocalypse literally. It's clearly a metaphor. Well, what's it a metaphor for? The, the death of oneself and the birth of another. Oh, this is a, a everyday belief that is a fantasy, that if I worry, things are going to be taken care of. I, I, myself, I think a belief in faith is a little bit different. Absolutely. Right? Because really. right? belief is more cognitive. Mm -hmm. Faith is more like that gets you through the night. You know, faith has to do with salvation. Faith has to do with something that, you know, you believe something's helping you outside of yourself or could or potentially. You believe there's some goodness in the world even when everything feels bad. Because if we're truly believing in these spiritual practices, then we're grounded in the understanding that death is non-existent as we know it. From an object relations perspective, we talk about beliefs, but to me that's a certain framework. A belief in that it easily encompasses the idea of past and future lives, and in fact it makes a lot of sense from an object relations perspective. Mm -hmm.